Yo guys, what's up? All right, so there's a little smirk on my face, right? Yeah. That's why there's a smirk on my face. That baby right there. I'm gonna give you guys a quick walk around, quick review on this bad boy. 1995 Toyota Supra Turbo. Oh man, this is, I, get, I think this is every car enthusiast, well not every, most people like Ferraris, Lambos. Yeah, not me. I like this right here. I like this. This thing is, ah. Oh. Let's flip guys. Yeah, I know y'all don't wanna see me no more. This is what you guys want to see right here. 1995 Toyota Super Turbo. Yes, this is uh, auto. This is not stick, but still, oh my gosh. Let me just stop talking for a bit and walk, walk around the car real quick. Excuse me, it's cold out here, so you guys gonna see my tongue slur a lot. Oh my goodness, look at this. Now I was sad. If I ever own one of these bad boys, I would want it white, silver, or black. But this green, whew, I don't even know if the light's doing it justice right now. Hold on. Let me see if you guys can see this. This green is, uh, oh my gosh now this is not completely factory guys this has some aftermarket rims as you guys can see um but the paint job you know this car came from florida it was well taken care of this car is being sold by hd auto you guys know these guys man you know I, I mentioned them a couple of times before hd auto sales here in reading pa now this thing here is mint. Look at these tail lights. Clean, clean, clean. The spoiler a lot of people don't like because it's big, but you know what? Listen, listen. If you guys don't like it, you guys could just switch the, the spoiler, right? Y'all can switch it. Y'all can put your big old wings with the carbon fiber. But me, I'll keep it classic. You know why? Because with time, this car does hold its value because of you know of all the all its original parts and stuff like that. Um Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Now look guys, I'm excited, all right? I'm sorry. If you guys see me go back and forth a lot and say all these crazy things like yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm excited. Okay? I'm happy. I'm doing this. Really cold out here. Like I said, this car is being sold is being sold over here in HD Auto Sales and Reading. So if you guys is interested, hit my guy David up, man. These guys over here, they'll work with you. Okay, they'll put you in a vehicle. If it's not this one, it's another one. They have a whole bunch of cool things over here. Now let's let's get into the review, all right, guys? Now the car is open. Here's the key. Yep, this is your old classic key, man. You're not gonna get no, no button, lock on lock. Nope, this is your key right here. Okay. Let's go inside real quick. Uh, all right, guys. Just take it in little by little, all right? Leather on the door, okay. This thing has held up really, really good throughout the years. Whoever owned this car took well good care of it. Now, it is all leather, okay? You got your speaker, your controls to open the door. Now, let's climb inside and show you guys the center console, okay? All right, give me a second. Now, this car was made for the driver, okay, guys? This car was not made for the passenger to be poking around. No, 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 no. He sits over there on his little cubby while he enjoys the ride. And 
the whole center console I will show you guys from a side angle let me just unlock the steering wheel real quick okay alrighty this did sound awesome it has a aftermarket exhaust okay now it is driver orientated okay guys so the center console it's tilted this way for which I'm gonna call it visibility I mean for so yeah so the center console is made like this so the driver does not have to reach over for buttons and stuff like that everything everything is accessible you know now this one does you know there's a lot of things that are not gonna be stuck in most supers all right um unfortunately um some people well not unfortunately you know a lot of people did not know this was gonna be such a desirable car in the future so you know they went on and put aftermarket things on it there's a couple of things here that are aftermarket that i could tell off the back um i don't know if the boost gauge here is either original or aftermarket but then again who knows all right who knows okay um you know you have your control your air vents you know everything is plastic here you're not gonna find no carbon fiber and stuff like that i don't know but it's somewhere around there you know you got your your little cigarette stuff here you know this is an auto six speed auto this is not um stick e-brake little cubby now this is cool right here guys okay look this usually comes in a bag but i guess the owner the previous owner took it out of its little bag and this is to remove the hard top i don't know if you guys remember in fast and the furious they had this section here where one of the guys from the movie is being um wish i'm gonna call it Paul walker and push this thing up and it came off so it is a it is a convertible or hard top removable vehicle okay so you could drive around with the with the top off on a nice sunny day but you do have to unbolt it okay it's not just this is for these things inside i don't know if you guys can see it in there there's a little l key or um Whatever you guys want to call that and you can remove that okay now everything in here is very good so this everything is leather okay it's not soft leather it's like this plastic um wannabe leather material but it's been well taken care of okay it's, it's, it is in amazing conditions now this car does have let's see if you guys can see that there 121,000 miles on it okay for a lot of you guys, if you didn't know, the mileage is not on your gauge cluster, okay? Like most cars, it's on the side right here, okay? Now this is this is cool right here, guys. I don't. Let's see if you guys can see this. See the vent. See. You open, and this is how you close. It's like a little airplane. Then. You guys see that? Let me show you guys. Open. Close. <laughs> I'm just being a big kid, guys. I'm being. Glove compartment. Pretty spacious. Okay? It's pretty spacious. Um, you barely have, which I'm going to call it, you know, storage in this thing all right okay so if you buying this car for practicality uh, i don't think so you have little cubbies here have little cubbies over there but that's it and then you have that okay and in here let me show you guys and i saw this from dr Mura. okay i saw this in shan when i seen his review on the supra information for turbocharged engine engine oil engine filter so here is telling you right so if you drove this car for more than 20 or or it simply just came from a long run don't turn off the car right away okay 
let it idle for about 20 to 120 seconds depending on driving conditions all right let me clean this up for a little bit I'm sorry. everybody wants the 2jc why because this engine is capable of holding even up to like a thousand nine hundred horsepower to two thousand um it's tuned you know they tweak it a little bit computer and you know they do a whole bunch of things and this one you could tell a little bit they changed the um the intakes there's an aftermarket apex intake okay so this one right here is like I said, the V6 inline 2JC GTS engine um, turbo and it's pushing. This one should be pushing about um, 465 horsepower right now. As is right now. Because it, it was tuned, you know, it's been tweaked a little bit. Oh my gosh. Honestly, guys, listen. You guys haven't seen this car you know I suggest you try to find yourself a dealer that has one and just feast your eyes guys because this this is this is classic man this car was made famous after Paul Walker used it on the Fast and the Furious for those of you guys that don't know it was it wasn't really as desirable before but once people see they could tune this engine and it's able to withstand the horsepower um put suspension on it drop it like this one is the stock one comes with um 15 inch 16 inch rims off the back it's also five star like this rim here but this is uh this right here excuse me i think it was 17 inches it came with off the, the factory these are um also 17s but they are aftermarket okay but the car has been lowered if you guys can see let me see if I can show you guys real quick. The suspension is. See? It's got BC coilovers. So you could, you know, adapt your damping. Let me see if you guys can see that. Second. Okay, I guess not. So you got soft and hard. So you you know you pick your, your damping. Again, this is really clean. Hey, Dog the Muro, you got a really clean one over there, but I got one over here too. Okay, so this one is very clean. It's been taken care of really, really good. Now, let me show you guys the trunk. Now, the, the car is not so practical, okay? It's, it's not like it has massive space. This, this was a, it's much like a touring car, okay? You can fit a couple of things back here, you know. If you want to go grocery shopping, you could do that. If you want more space, you can lay down the back seats. Now, this thing here has a little curtain. Okay. But if you want more storage, you just lay down these guys over here. See, you got the pool tab right here in the middle. Lay them down. Now, again, we were talking about the hard top, right? This is the hard top right here this comes off flip it upside up and you enter it first on this side and lay it down okay so it's like you know you you slide it and then just lay it down it leans on these things right here okay um what else can we talk about on this baby you know these cars were made limited okay guys this it's not like there was made they made a whole bunch let me close this down sorry guys this is gorgeous man now you guys can see uh tail lights on crystal clear so yeah like i was saying there was not many of these cars made okay um these cars limited and they are selling really really fast you know eventually this is this is gonna be a very expensive car in the future guys it's, it's not like you're gonna be able to just you know go ahead and walk up to the dealer and buy one okay because they are going really really fast because of, of you know 
just the things you could do with this thing, you know. We're talking about horsepower. You want horsepower? You got horsepower. You can tune it, tweak it. Bigger turbos. You know, um, suspension, you could drop it. So it's, it's a very good driver orientated vehicle. It's not just a simple Toyota Camry. This is a Supra, guys. This is a wider chassis. Way, way wider than um, Nissan 370Z. Um, this car did come out by the time they had those Nissans out, the GT3000. Um, if I'm not mistaken, also, uh, you know, up there rivals with like Hondas and SXs, but the Honda and SX was a, supposed to be a Ferrari killer. killer. Now, this is your Ferrari killer. <laughs> I'm just joking, guys. Ferrari, don't be mad at me, okay? If you guys see this. Um, calipers. Let's, let's, see, let's see the calipers. Now, let's, let's do this right. I got to do this correct, okay? No Brembo. There's no other. Supra. Yep. Super brakes. Super calipers. This is like a bronze, orange, like an orange, bronze color on these brakes. All right, let's see something. I want to see something real quick. Right. So yeah, guys, you know, um, let's close this down. Give you guys another walk around on this baby. You know, guys, when I started this journey um, to do car reviews and stuff like that, you know, I had a lot of negative comments on people, oh, you're a big dreamer, all you do is talk about cars, cars, cars. What's so exciting about cars? Well, I'll tell you what, this is what's exciting about cars. Instead of me being on the block, hanging out, doing nothing, eventually probably being hurt by somebody, I prefer doing this. You know why? Because the only way this car is going to hurt me is if I push it to its limit, right? But since I'm not driving them yet, <laughs> I'm just being sarcastic, guys. But honestly, man, dreams do come true, guys. You know, you don't often see one of these things in a while, you know? And, and having one in front of me so clean. Oh, my gosh. Thank you, HD Auto Sales. Thank you. Thank you, man. I appreciate you, brother. Appreciate you guys very, very much. All right, guys. Now, let's give you guys a little... As you guys heard that, okay? I want to thank my guy from HD Auto Sales. He and ready. All right, let me show you guys how this looks. This, this is their their dealer. All right, come visit them, man. They got a whole inventory. All right, they're not joking, man. Look at this. Their inventory is crazy, and I'm telling you guys. I'm not just saying regular cars, right? Nah, right? Regular cars. Now there you go, you guys can see, right? Yeah. Yes, that's coming soon. This, 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 this right here, this right here. This is coming soon. <laughs> Sexy. All right, guys. Um, all I want to say is, like share and subscribe i would really appreciate it man please guys you know so i could keep bringing 
more cool things, okay? More cool toys. And again, thank you for seeing Cars and Manny.